Welcome everybody. Today is the official opening of the Republic of Burundi's Consular Office here in Perth, Western Australia. And we are here at the Victory Life Center to witness the inauguration of Mr. Barry Court as the Honorary Consul of Burundi. In attendance today, we have the First Lady of Burundi, Mrs. Dennis Nkoronzize, and a host of other dignitaries. Let's have a look at an overview of the ceremony. Father, we just thank you for this official opening of the Burundi Consul Office here in Western Australia. Father, we thank you for the bridging and the coming together of the two nations. Standing for the national anthems of Australia and Burundi. The First Lady came to Australia to promote Burundi and uh, used our church as a base for where she operated from and uh, we looked after her in typical Australian style and uh, for doing that uh, she invited us back to Burundi where we went and had a look at the uh, beauty and the progress that was being made in Burundi and from then on a relationship built and eventually the President of Burundi asked me if I'd stand as the consulate for Burundi in Australia. It took a while for the Australian government to uh, recognise that, but eventually they did, and now we have a relationship on a diplomatic scale with uh, Australia and Burundi. First of all, I invite everyone here to join me in thanking and praising our Lord, the Almighty God, who made our journey to Australia safe and secure, all along the way, from Bujumba to Perth, there was no obstacle, no suffering, nothing wrong at all, and here we are. I'm very glad that this clap for him, who is good all the time. There is a huge Burundian community living in Australia, and these people need a close office when they need to process their visa and other issues relating to their mother and home country, that is Burundi. But again, Australia is key to us in promoting investments and economic ties because we really uh, find uh, we have a lot of common issues. Look at agriculture, which is the major activity for the Burundian population. We know Australia is far advanced and we call upon investors from this corner to join us and develop agribusiness sector there. Tourism as well, fishery, by opening this office, a lot of move will be realized and we hope a lot of flow of investment will come from this end. Yeah, today is uh, important, especially for us uh, Burundian who are in WA or who are in uh, whole Australia because it was a great day to open a consul which is going to help us to be able to access what we need. Before we will travel to China or whatever, travel to Singapore to be able to get the documents we need, but now it is a great for us. We're going to access everything in Australia, which is good for us as a Burundian people who are in Australia. We're looking for joint ventures in Burundi. We're not, they're not looking for handouts. They are looking for progressing on their own, they're self-sufficient country with unlimited fresh water, beautiful rolling plains and agriculture, uh, mining possibilities that haven't even started. So, uh, you know, we're a mining country and we would look like uh, joining with them to help them exploit their minerals and other opportunities for industry to make uh, Burundi self-sustainable. The Australian government has a long history of accepting honorary consuls and over a dozen of the consular positions established in Australia are headed by honorary consular officers. It's Tony ETC reporting for Undercurrents.